Hello makers and welcome back to the studio. Now today I'm working on a special project in which I have an upcoming gallery showing, which I'm very excited about, but the gallery doesn't allow for us to use any hooks. So I have these hangers on the back of my artwork that I've used if I have hooks on the wall and they want to be able to use wire instead. They have their own hooks that are gonna be hanging down from the molding in the ceiling and I can hang my art on that. So it's not a big problem, but it's gonna take a little bit of a retrofit. So I'm working on a few of my pieces right here. I have my friend Rush Hour that I'm working on right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm putting it down on a towel, as you can see, so that I don't end up scratching the, uh, the front of this piece of artwork at all. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking and trying to get a sense of, first of all, I want consistency for all of the pieces when they're hung. So if we line everything up, everything's gonna be equidistant, right? Gonna have all the tops lined up. That's the goal anyway. And so I'm thinking that I wanna start my wire hanger about six inches below the top of what's going on here. Now I'm gonna have the, the wire be fairly tight. I'm not looking for something. I certainly don't want the wire to ever protrude the top, uh, above the top of the artwork here. So I'm gonna simply come in using uh, just my good old quilting ruler, which has so many good purposes. And I'm just gonna mark about six inches down on this side, and let me mark about six inches down on this side with just a, a felt tip marker. That worked out fine. All right, so there's where the hole's gonna be. Now I'm just using a, a small screwdriver here to kind of gouge a good starting hole here. It just makes it easier for me when I'm trying to put the screw in to make sure that it seats properly and goes in the right place. You tap with the nail. Again, it depends on what you're working with. If you had some sort of a frame that was a softer pine or something like that, the screw may stick into it really well. well this is a manufactured product here, and sometimes it can be a little, uh, a little more difficult to work with. Now, what I am working with here is I bought some hardware. Well, I bought some hardware that comes with my hanging wire, kind of an important thing, but it has these hooks that allow me to screw them into the back of my frame, which is what I'm gonna do here on both sides. So I'm gonna to need to have a screw. And then I also have these other little pieces in here, which I can find a few of them here, which are these little metal sleeves. And these are gonna be very important for what we're working on. So uh, we'll put those into the side. We're gonna need those in the next little bit. But for right now, let me get a screw for each side here and uh, get these hook hooks in place. I'm gonna be using um, my, my trusty Ryobi uh, electric screwdriver here because yeah why not right make life easier for yourself whenever you can and so let me there we go I can feel that little hole I gouge which is gonna make life so much easier there we go that's pretty and they're already pretty tight there we go let's squeeze that around and let's do the same thing here on the other side indentation that we made here, which is right there. Let's spin that around because it's in the right place. Okay, here we go. And that's it. So the hooks are in, the, in place, which is part of the battle, obviously. But the thing we need to do now is we need to get our wire in here. And this is where things can be kind of interesting. Because when we take wire and stretch it between these two points, one of the questions that might come up is, uh, how do we do that? Well, we know how to stretch the wire between the two points. That's not the problem. How do we secure it, tie it, wrap it, do something to it? And in my history, I've done a lot of, you know, wrapping wires around wires, hoping it will hold. I'm gonna show you a pretty cool and, uh, and, and just a clean way to do it. First thing I need to do is I need to get a length of whatever the wire I'm working with out here. And I have this one's all nicely bundled up and I'm gonna leave it that way because it's so much easier to work with than having something that's just, you know, a little unruly and coming undone. I'm going to feed out enough of this. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for approximately, I don't know, five, six inches on either side of where I'm going to be putting it. Now we get a little bit more here. There we go. And uh, that way, I just have something to work with. I don't want to waste too much of this, obviously, but I also don't want to sell myself short. So I'm going to say, all right, right about here is where I should cut. Now I have a pair of pliers, which also have a cutting edge built into them. They're really handy. These are very affordable uh, pliers. And I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna cut my wire, just give it a good squeeze, and there we go. I now have a length of wire that's ready to go. Now, obviously the wire is gonna run between my two hooks, but there's a method in how I wanna do this. To begin with, I'm gonna go grab those little metal sleeves I was showing you before, I'm gonna feed at least one in here. I'll feed them at one at a time. I'll leave the other one sitting on the back of the frame here. 
And I'm going to work over here on the, on the side closest to me, just because it's right in front of me. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our wire. Now, I want to start by taking the wire, and I want to feed it down through that hole. And by the way, I'm stretching my wire across where it will be, across the, uh, the piece of art. And now that this piece of wire has gone down through, I want to come back up, okay? And I want to come back up through this hook, not the loop, but the hook itself. And now I want to feed, come back down, but I want to come back down through the loop, okay? And this is where that little, little coupling, this little slider in here, right, allows me to come in here and grab this sleeve and just kind of put it in here. Now, by the way, I want you to notice that you're not man-tangle over here, which is totally fine. And it will show you that you kind of created like half of a, of a square knot over here, okay? And so what I want to do is I want to grab that sleeve and I want to bring it down. I might even grab my pliers a little bit and gently kind of pull it down as close as I can. And then I'm going to squeeze those pliers really hard. And what that's going to do is it's going to trap the wires in here and make them from going anywhere. So we basically said, all right, hey, I've secured this end over here. That wire is not going anywhere. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Again, I'm going to remember to put my sleeve on first because you can't put it on afterwards. That's the hard part. So I'll put the sleeve on the wire. And once again, I'm going to start by going down, tighten my wire across. I'm going to go up that wire, but I'm going to go back up, this time back up through the hook. So back up through the hook. There we go. And finally, the last thing to do is go back down, but this through the, the loop in the wire. And you can also let this kind of flip back out like that. There we go. And I may grab my pliers and just give this a tug, make sure it's nice and tight. And now let me find the sleeve I want to put on here and let me fit my, my loose end of the wire into that sleeve as well. By the way, just, uh, just be aware, this, uh, this wire can be rather stabby. So as you're sliding on there, go gentle into that because you certainly don't want to just jam your finger onto this uh, sharp point, okay? And so once again, I'm going to grab my sleeve with my pliers. I'm not going to squeeze it too tight, but I'm going to pull it up here to the side. And when I'm ready to go, then I'm going to crank, clamp it down. And it's crimped. And so now my wire is tight. It's got a little bit of flex, which is not bad. But again, if they're all the same, then when I hang these on the hooks in the gallery, they all should be basically balanced in roughly the same place. Last thing to do is let's come in here and let's just do a little tidying. I'm going to come in here and just trim off my excess. There we go. Just one little tailing there. I'll do the same thing over here. There we go. So there you are. Nice and clean, ready to go, ready for the gallery. They're all going to be consistent. That's the thing of beauty. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to share some quick tip and trick on what to do when you're hanging wire onto existing artwork or even brand new artwork. And, uh, and it's actually a lot easier than, uh, than you might think. There are times when you're looking at the, the equipment and going, well, how do I do this? And there's a simple approach. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And if you like what you saw here today, we'd love to spend time with you in the future. Please remember to subscribe. I'm Spider, and I'll see you next time.